Guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of SoCal Watch Reviews. I am Miguel and my friend P. Ross. P. Ross, yo, how's yo, it going? Yo, 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 this is your boy P. Ross back in the building for another one. Back in the building. Now, if you, if you hear any kid sound effects in the background, that's my son. That's because we're recording. It's the afternoon. It's like about 9 o'clock of my time. He's getting ready to go to bed, but he's super active uh we missed the episode yesterday p Rell. so what yeah. is going actually sunday because today's monday crazy things crazy busy yeah, i'm sorry sure. how you how you been p Ross? yo man it's been a very trying time i think for all of us but you know uh we making it man we making it you know what i mean <sighs> Yeah, man, it's it's been uh, it's been quite something, you know, COVID hitting everybody. And man, every every time I I talk to somebody, right. So whether it be family or friends, it's like more people are right. getting it and getting it and getting it. And, you know, I found out I, I actually spoke to my dad. It was his birthday Saturday. I don't remember. when. Happy, happy birthday to Pops. Happy birthday. Yeah, I, I, I called him and he's uh, currently in Mexico right now over there celebrating his birthday or whatever. And uh he goes, yeah, it's crazy over here. Every every single one of your uncles, every single one of your cousins, all your aunts, like throughout these months, like everybody's gotten it. Like it's just everybody has it mm -hmm. at one point. So it's just it's just one of those things that I think everybody's gonna get. Right. I honestly, I probably haven't said this story before, but before COVID was like COVID, it was uh, a year ago actually, January, twenty twenty, the beginning of January twenty twenty. My my son was going to school, and he's little, you know, little kids don't. I mean. Even adults in school or even adults just don't don't bother to be clean, right? Or right, right. And, and you don't, you know, cover yourself, cover your mouth or whatever. But he's little, you know, he was four at the time. So he's little. Mm -hmm. And he got this really bad cold, like really mm -hmm. bad cold, right? We even took him to the doctor. He had like a high temperature for a while. We're like, man, it lingered on for like two weeks. And he passed mm -hmm. it on to me. I had that thing for like three weeks. And I never, I swear to you, in my life, I had never felt that sick. And right. I didn't know anything about COVID. I just knew that I never had had the cold that bad. And it was right. bad. I couldn't even talk. I couldn't anything. So, you know, come to find out, I never got tested, of course. But we're thinking, we're like, you know, that's when COVID kind of started. Like right after right. that, a few weeks mm -hmm. after, it's COVID everywhere. So we're like... Yeah. Maybe I had COVID. Maybe I was yeah. one of the one of the first people to have it, and I we didn't even know, you know. Right. Um, I think I went through the same similar thing with my wife. Like she had got real sick, hmm. and and just from her behavior, it, it she felt like she hadn't had what she had before, and it was something different. Right. And of course, it was passed on to me. Oh yeah. But I think I had more of a fever with it. I didn't have like. The symptoms, but I just didn't know what it was. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I think one way or another, we've all had it. Like I've had friends, like uh, in 2019, my one friend Lenny, he got like direly sick. You know what I mean? Like where he was like on the shelf sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then a couple of weeks later, he was doing better. And this is in 2019. Uh, no, I I heard I'm not I'm no expert, but I've heard that you could get my sister. I think my sister was telling me that you could get tested to see if you have the COVID strand in your blood or something. Mm -hmm. So that's an indicator that you had COVID. So right, I've been right. curious. I was like, I wonder if right. I should get that done. I mean, right. I don't know what it consists of, but it would be interesting to know if that was COVID. But but yeah. nonetheless, it felt miserable man right. i was like man it, yeah. it, it's just horrible and i'm like i don't want to feel anything like I, that's why i'm so scared of covid because i just don't like getting a cold period or being sick right. of even my stomach yeah. or a headache and i don't think anybody yeah. likes being right. sick it's just kind of dumb and, saying and you that. know what's weird about it too it's like like i have asthma i have allergies right right so like any time in the year is like bad for me so right. i could cough people looking at me crazy yeah you know what i mean like you know and i go through this like all year round but people who know me already know but uh 
I've actually taken a COVID test before. I had a procedure done this summer. I don't know if I told you about that. I think I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a procedure done this summer, and I had to have a COVID test. Right. And it, it was weird, man. Like, it didn't hurt, but it's very aggravating. Mm-hmm. It feels like you ever had soda come through your nose. Yeah, that's weird. that's what it feel like. You know what I mean? It, she stayed up there for ten seconds, but it get out like, already. <laughs> it felt like three hours. You know what I mean? But it came back. I was fine. Yeah, and you know, at work they do extensive testing. Like, okay, you you have to go through like you have to do temperature screeners every twice a day, twice a day when you at work. Wow, you know that's I mean? crazy. So, All right. And they have COVID testing on site, you know what I'm saying, just in case you think you may have it. So, Man, let us pray for everybody. It's just it's just a tough situation, man. It's like the, the world as we used to know it is no it's longer going to be. It's not the same. It's never going to be the same. And, okay, it See? may be the same at some point, but it's going to be later, later down the road, maybe years from now. And it, then, it, ooh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say by now, I mean, by then we're going to be so used to this type of life that we're not even going to know how to go back to the old life. And right. our kids growing up or the kids growing up, that's going to be their new normal. So yeah. everything, human interaction, all the interaction is going to be so different, right. you know. And, you know, I never really been to a watch meetup with a bunch of people I've done with Omar. Shout out to our friend Omar. I actually met with Absolutely. him saw his watch it was so cool right it's like it, it's crazy to be in the presence of another collector not digitally but in front of them and right. and, and being able to see their collection and feel it and mm-hmm. show off your stuff or not yeah. show off share your passion right, as right. well yeah. it's so different p ross like i really wish you and i lived a lot closer we hang Absolutely. out check each other's Absolutely. watches but we do what we have you know but Absolutely. you know speaking of watches that's what everybody's here for man uh, yeah. So let's let's talk about watches. What are you what are you wearing today, man? Uh, I am wearing my 1973 Timex Viscount. Viscount, you know, okay. Viscount. I was uh, corrected. Someone corrected me in a video. It's not Viscount. It's actually Viscount. So you okay. spell it. He, he he pronounced it was like V Y Count Viscount. Okay, cool. You know what I mean, so you know. Hopefully he wasn't rude about it, but um, uh, of course he was. But you know, so oh, okay, all right. Well, today last minute thing, people. We last minute podcast. Uh, this is really what I've been wearing, and I just can't take it off. SPB one four three on the Artem strap. Uh, yeah. Um, I feel so bad for my other watches. I don't even wear them to be honest with you. And it's I've been thinking. Mm. I'm like, what am I doing? Like this thing is just taking so much wrist time you know right absolutely <laughs> but it's it's so comfortable man it's one of those things that you find a watch that i i i thought it was a honeymoon phase but how long have i had this since november since november right mm-hmm. so it's 2021 it's second week in january and i still i still feel the same way about this watch and i'm right, still yeah. wearing it as much so absolutely. i don't know how long the honeymoon phase is gonna last but i can tell you that it's one of my favorite watches in right. my collection. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure people are sick and tired hearing about this watch. Well, and- the, the weird thing is what I do now, because I wear the Certina a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'll put on a watch in the morning, then take pictures. Then I'll put the Certina back on. <clears throat> Don't give I mean? away so- your secrets, P. Ross. Don't give away your hey. secrets, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, secret for everybody listening. It's funny. It's uh, And I think everybody does this. So when I pull out my camera and I'm ready to do a review or some some shots or whatever I don't take one picture I take multiple pictures right. of different watches and I change everything and I have about maybe 20 sometimes 30 pictures right saved and I go and I edit every single one of my pictures it takes a long time but I just have them in my phone and I just slowly post them you know because it's right. like Seiko Saturday Blue Watch Mon- Monday or Case Back Friday sometimes or mm-hmm. you know the Speedy Tuesday whatever uh, on Instagram, it's just so much easier to do that, uh, at least for what I do. You know, if I had right. to set up my camera every single day and do the pictures that I like doing, the content that I like putting out, it'd just be impossible. Right. So that's yeah, sure. not a secret, but I know a lot of people do the same thing. And it's mm-hmm. like, you know, it, whatever it is, what it is, as long as we keep sharing our passion with people, whether it be photography, sure. videography, watches, or a combination of all, mm-hmm. we're going to keep doing it. But um, but hey, man, I want to give a shout out to 
the ball what is a ball watch collector right the i'm ball sorry watch I, collector yeah yes. all right all right troy troy what's up yeah, what's good troy? troy why, why don't you do a special shout out for troy let's let's do that man a special shout out for troy let's do it he deserves uh, it what, what, he's what, such a big what, supporter what, of the, of the socal watcheries podcast what can i say shout out to the man troy the ball watch collector He's not here physically, but he is here mentally and spiritually. Shout out to you, Troy, the ball watch collector. Give him some love. Check him out on Instagram and YouTube. Go check him there. out. You know what I'm saying? The ball watch collector in the building. Get with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, he's he always, every single episode, it's like, where is my t-shirt my in the building t-shirt we're gonna right, have to yeah, make yeah. a t-shirt just for that guy right right he's a you huge supporter saying? we're gonna have to come out with some socal watch reviews some like merch. mug some merch or something speaking of merch check this out p ross so um so we just got these in right so i guess the the, the podcast is sponsored by a coffee company funny enough yeah. somebody here from cali yes. from uh, southern california uh oh, roast yes. coffee haven't tried it i just got my coffee grinder ethiopian and the other one is colombian but yeah really nice I'm going guy to tell you something i love colombian coffee okay but the ethiopian coffee is delicious so have you tried this one i know they say i have not tried that one i have okay. not tried that okay one you okay know what I'm saying? but when i try it, i know it's gonna be good ethiopian co coffee is the bomb Okay, cool. Yeah, no, really cool guy. And honestly, the only reason we linked up with him is because of a buddy of mine, Steve. Shout out to Anomaly. Shout out to Steve. Shout out to Steve. He hooked me up. He's like, hey, man, I know you like coffee. And I know P. Ross likes coffee. And I know coffee and watches kind of a thing, mm -hmm. right? He's like, there's this local guy here in, in Cali. And uh, he he started his company. He roasts his right. own beans. Really cool packaging. I'm trying to support him. Would you be willing? Would you guys be willing to receive some free product? And I know it's coffee again; it's on watches, but you know, to support them, of course, we support anybody. So we're not getting paid, but we are getting some free coffee. So there you go, roast, yeah. roastcoffee.com at check roast coffee on Instagram. Go check them out. We I are gonna get. What, I tell you what. Tell me what, P. Ross. Tell me something. When I got the package. When you got the package, the, the, the beans are so potent in them bags. Oh, oh, that you oh, can yes. smell it through the box, through yes. the packaging. You can smell. Yes, it. that's how. Yes, how I'm. Ooh, I can't wait. Yeah, I just, yeah. I literally just got my. Egg. Again, this is not a commercial, but check this out. So this was 19 bucks or something on Amazon, Hamilton, whatever. So these are beans. I have to uh, you know, grind them, and I do have my French press. I was thinking of making a cool little video for like some B-roll for one of my watches. Oh, yeah. And uh, but anyways, there you go. Thank you so much for absolutely uh, to roast for for this. Hopefully yeah. next time we could be sipping on some coffee. But oh yeah, no doubt. Enough of that. Enough of that. What what are we gonna talk about, man? We've we've been busy. What what you've been doing? Collaborations. I mean, without me. Yeah, I did. I, yeah, oh, surprisingly, what? I did my first collaboration with okay. Alex, with uh, the brother right. David Schwartz Jr. Shout out to him. Made a Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you. Hey, you did know? you know it's a great day to wear a watch? It's a great day to wear it's a, a watch. Great day. It's a great day you know to wear I mean? a watch. Every day. Every day yeah, a great it day. was uh it was pretty decent, man. You know. It we was more to, than decent. It was amazing. You about, guys, it was, yeah, we talked about uh you know what what our expectations is for 2021, mm -hmm. what watches we would love to have, yep. you know what I mean? Um also, we talked about homage watches and how sick of certain homage watches were tired of seeing. You yep. know what I mean? So it was uh, pretty dope, pretty dope. Shout out to David Schwartz. It was a great episode, man. I I, I loved it. And, and it was funny. You guys were talking about homage watches and everything. And it's funny yeah. enough that you guys talked about homage watches because I talked about homage watches with Engineer Wannabe. So I did. Right. A live stream with him on his channel. Go check him out. Engineer, Shout out to Engineer Wannabe. Wannabe. Shout out to Engineer Sanjay. Wannabe. So check it out. So we we went live. It was fun, you know. A lot of people putting things in the comments. He's a grand. He, you were there too. All the supporters were yeah. there, you know. Um. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he is a genius when it comes to Grand Seiko, man. This guy knows all the reference numbers. He's I there's see. so much in those reference numbers. I'm like, like what? Because I don't know what the heck. You're, he's like, well, this means this. This means that. Power reserve, no power reserve. I saw that. High beat, I, and I'm I, just yeah. like deer in the headlights so i'm like i'm right, pretending right. i'm pretending like i know and just nodding i'm right. like of course yeah <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, I tell, reserve. Yeah. If, if I'm ever in the business for a grand Seiko, I know who I'm gonna call. Oh man, this guy knows a lot. He knows I know a who lot. I'm gonna call. He knows a lot. But anyway, we talked about homage watches, and he, you know, him just, just, just he said something that a lot of people in our guests say. Well, you know, I'm not against homage watches because every watch borrows an aesthetic, and I'm like, no, I think we're talking about two completely different things. Right. Homage watches, I'm okay with when they take the aesthetic and uh, of not the aesthetic, but some borrow some aesthetics right. from another watch. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about a copycat boom watch exactly. with the, with just a logo on. It. He's like, oh, right. okay, like a replica watch. But and I'm like, I okay, no, it's not a replica right. watch because right. that's a different thing. But yeah, in essence, I mean, I get it's a but replica. Ain't, 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 that a, ain't that funny though? Like how you could take something like the Pagani design or even like the Invicta Pro Diver and they yeah. look so much like a Submariner that that you can be like, yo, you know, from a distance, you know, that's what they look like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Word up. For, but shout out to my wife. She's uh she's in the she's in here. Okay. But anyway. Shout uh, out to Mrs. Miguel. Yeah, she shout she out. can't hear you, but uh okay. she uh, yeah she doesn't care about watches. Don't tell her I said oh she just told me to shut up. So, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, whatever. That was I'm sorry. Proper, that was the proper response. <laughs> That's why I started sure. a YouTube channel. I mean, right. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I digress. Homage watches. It seems like we talk about them every episode. I, I think it's. A, I think it's a topic, man. I think it's a very important topic. People are gonna think that we're haters. We are not. We I'm just, not a hater of homage watch. I'm not. You know, you know what it is. I just find it so interesting that homage watches channels, homage watch channels on YouTube that really focus heavy on that are doing really, really, really successfully. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I mean, I, I could see the appeal because yeah. regular people that maybe are just into watches or maybe not mm -hmm. so much into watches to them, they don't, they don't care. Like it looks right. cool. Yeah, right. it looks like an Omega. Like I don't care. It looks cool, mm. and it costs sixty bucks, eighty bucks, hundred right. bucks, whatever. Hell yeah, I'm doing it. Mm. But here's where I have a problem that I've seen a lot of those guys buy that watch and then put down people like myself for buying watches from like Seiko. Well, why would you buy that piece of crap when it doesn't even line up? And my homage watch is better than yours. And it's like, look, I'm not talking down on your watch. So why are you talking down on right. my watch? Mm -hmm. That's not what this is about. This hobby is right, about right loving the hobby and respecting each other and it just seems to be so segregated and the thing out is there. homage watches has a place in horology absolutely they have 100 you know it's, not a, it's not a new thing it's not a new thing right know? no no it's not you know uh like i ain't got no no beef with homage watches man i own a couple you know what i'm saying i probably own one of the most hated homage watches ever talk to me which one which is uh the invicta uh pro diver no, no, not that people. I think people kind of love the Pro Diver. I think the Pro Diver is kind of accepted, but it's an Invicta, the Daytona homage. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Like, okay. you know, with the, uh, it's like bronze and brown. Okay. Nice looking watch, but it's a Daytona I, I, I homage. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking yeah, so, about. Uh, you know, actually, I, I ain't got no beef. Ben but, Arthur. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go, go. I was going to talk about Ben Arthur in his latest Good. video. He had an Invicta on there that was actually kind of yeah. decent, like 79 right. pounds, which, oh, 90 mm -hmm. I don't know, 90 bucks. I don't know how much and that is. Dress watch, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So decent. I I wouldn't own one, but it was a decent looking Invicta. So I was like, right. hmm, all right, cool. Anyway, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. You know what I missed out on on eBay? Somebody was selling a vintage Invicta. Oh, those are nice. 19, I want to say 1967, 68. Those are cool, man. Yeah. Uh, the bin started off at like twenty some dollars US, and I missed that someone ended up getting it for like fifty five bucks. That's not bad though. I mean, because nah, they were man. they were different. It was a different company. Yeah, back it was then. different era. Just you know. like Mobato. Mobato, yeah. you know, it. Much respect to the vintage Mobato. I mean, some of their yeah. designs are were right. beautiful in the movement. I wouldn't mind holding the vintage Mobato though. Yeah. So for the newer stuff, like I'm not gonna say anything. A lot, a lot of people love them. Um, I, in, in my opinion, I just think they're overpriced, but we'll just yeah. leave it at that. Um, but the vintage stuff, beautiful stuff, a lot of mm -hmm. heritage there, but, uh, right. yeah, it's, you know, man, uh, 
done a lot of collaborations. That's super cool. I think we we're, we're definitely I don't I don't want to use the word diversifying because we're not investing, but definitely getting out there. I I need to do uh, and I'm publicly going to apologize, Eve. Um, you know, uh, I, I definitely owe you that uh, that emoji thing. I don't know if have you seen her channel? Yeah, um, yeah, I've watched them. The, okay. with the emojis and stuff. Yeah, Steve yeah. Dan channel. When so I'm gonna get when I'm gonna get my invite, Eve. Oh, oh, yeah. ho, ho, Eve. Shout What's out! Up? Shout out to Eve. Shout out. What's to up? Eve. When uh, I'm gonna get my invite? Hell yeah! What's up? What's up with that? But anyway, yeah, no, she sent me a sent me a little script and it's cool. You know, you got to record it on your iPhone and whatnot. It's a lot of work, you know, and, right. and it's it's crazy. You see her video and it's not long, right? It's like a short podcast crunched into just a few yeah. minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, whatever it is. And it takes her so long. She was like, man, Miguel, if you only knew how long it takes. And I'm like, I could only imagine. I mean, you did an amazing job. Looks like a yeah. really cool animation. And it it's she's just such a great yeah, that's host. hot and it's something yeah. different different well this something is the different. thing i don't understand how her channel doesn't have a lot of subscribers because she's doing right. different like her storytelling mm -hmm. for that poem she did yeah it's amazing that's what the yes, watch family should be all about not copying each other's styles but mm -hmm. bringing your unique flavor right. to what you're doing and then us all of us as a family racing everybody up and just right. hearing everybody on you know and that's what so, all these guys and girls are doing and we should continue to do it you know what i mean so absolutely i think the negativity really comes more not from content creators i think we're all pretty supportive nah. it's more the, the the people that are just watching and right. want to criticize everything and it's like mm -hmm. hey great i look forward to your review then right because you think this is easy yeah I, I messed up on a date i uh you know, some something, some little minute thing, and all of a sudden it's just like it's garbage. Your video is garbage. Right. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're saying. But anyways, it seems like we're always complaining about YouTube, and I think yeah. it's me more than you. <laughs> it's just well, I just I'm uh, used to it. I'm used to uh, it. Like on my other channel, uh, I've been called the N word. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I've been beat up comp with comments. It's just it's crazy. It's crazy. So I'm kind of numb to it now. I'm not. You know, so I'm not. It bothers me just because you know. I'm not that type of person. If I don't like your video, I simply just I don't watch it and I just kind of leave. And I don't. Right. I don't even leave a thumbs down. What's the point? That thumbs right. down should not even exist. Right. You know, thumbs up. Like you don't like it, then don't put a don't thumbs watch up. It. But if don't you like watch. it, put a thumbs up. That's it. I think YouTube needs to get rid of that. Right. But, but some people get their rocks off by doing stuff like that. That makes them feel better, which is really kind of sad because yeah. if you ain't got nothing else to do but put us down to make yourself feel better, you're an idiot, period. Straight up. Straight up, man. You're an idiot. Yeah, but enough about that. Enough about that. I think people are, are, are curious to know what was the outcome with the movement watches. So we had Ben Arthur a few episodes back. And there was a story that you told, and if you don't mind kind of recapping it for people that maybe haven't heard that episode, okay. and then we'll we'll talk about the outcome. So take it well, away, P. Ross. Okay. I have this friend, James Wilson. Okay. You know, we worked together. Ah, oh, this had to be, I think the last time we worked together was like maybe four, five, six years ago or something Oh, like wow. Okay. It's, it's been a while. Ago. Yeah. It's been a while. So he's a big movement guy. Yeah. Like, I've been to his house, and if you look at his movement collection, it's, like, outstanding. Like, he has lights over it. You know what I mean? He got all the watches on a pedestal. And, I mean, this guy is such a movement guy. He's a movement guy that was buying movement when they were just using the zip-up pouchy thing, sending them out. You know okay. what I mean? Yep. So, anyway, we would sit back, and one day I was surfing the internet, and this definitely was, like, three years ago. Uh, with Ben Arthur, okay, and then I came across the Ben Arthur channel, and he had a movement video, and he like completely destroyed movement, like it was incredible what he did the movement, and James, he had every curse word to say, blah blah freaking fracking fracking freaking he don't know what he talking about movement is great this guy got a fashion channel and he don't know fashion he was just saying everything about yeah, him right putting him down absolutely right. okay right so i knew that this got to him and i may not have been right but 
I knew that Ben Arthur actually got to him. Yeah. But it was almost a subject like every day after that. Like then he would ask me, like, what would I what did I think about movement? And I'm just kind of like, if that's what you like, that's what you like. You know what I mean? Like me personally, I went by a movement watch, but you know, that ain't my thing. So we would every time Ben Arthur would do something, Daniel Wellington versus movement, uh <sighs> Vincero. Uh this and that, you know what I mean? Like we watched it, and this guy would just go through the roof. You know what I mean? I mean, it was incredible, yeah. and I would just sit back and just laugh and laugh, and I know I wasn't right for that, but <laughs> uh, but very freaking entertaining. Yeah. So I told him like we did the Ben Arthur in November. Yeah. That was like November. November, October, something like that. Right. Yeah. So a few weeks before that, I told him, I called him, I said, yo, you know we're going to have your homeboy on the podcast. <laughs> so he like, who? Like Ben Arthur. You tell that mother flipper, blah, 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 blah. He just, <laughs> he just went in. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. Just watch, watch the episode. I'll send it to you. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? And from there, we could go. All right, cool. But that mother flipper ain't da, da, da. <laughs> And he's still, he's still angry at Ben Arthur, I may say. Okay. So, I got a hold of this guy, and we talked. And this is the outcome of the whole Ben Arthur, James Wilson versus Ben Arthur. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, he, give he it still, to me. He still despises Ben Arthur. Okay. He still thinks he Ben Arthur don't know what he's talking about. Oh, he thinks Ben Arthur is this genuine and he's just down in movement watches because movement won't give him what he wants and blah blah. I mean, it was wait, 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 wait. He won't give him what he wants as far like as monetary movement. compensation or free watches. Or? Free watches, free watches. It's all about free watches. It's all about free watches. Yeah, this, that's what he said, man. He's first uh. you know what I mean, <laughs> and he just went on this tangent. You know what I mean? And especially when we start talking about Daniel Wellington. I think this guy's thinking about buying a Daniel Wellington watch. Okay. You know what I mean? Because he, if I wanted Daniel Wellington, I'd get me a Daniel Wellington. I don't know why y'all had that guy on your podcast. He's full of, uh, you know what I mean? So he just went on and on and on. Although we on the phone, you know how you could see somebody's mouth oh. talking. Oh, yeah. And, and, and then you just block it out like, oh, God, is he going to stop? Why did I get myself into this? That's what I was oh, saying to myself. Man. I said the oh. thing I do for the SoCal Watch Reviews podcast. We thank you for that. So, you thank so, you. You're a martyr. You're a martyr. So finally, I said, James, you have to understand that there's people like you and there's people like me and there's other people like them. You know what I mean? That don't like movement. They don't like what they stand for. They do use cheap quartz Chinese watches. You know what I'm saying? They buy Alibaba, AliExpress, Wish, or they have. I don't know if they do that anymore. I know in the beginning it was like that. I don't know yeah. what they do now because I don't keep up with movement. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, oh, you one of them now. I said, no, I'm, I'm not always, one of them. Will... <laughs> no, I'm not one of them. You know what I'm saying? What do you think me rubbing uh... Ben Arthur in your face was? Me trying to be nice? You know what I mean? Like. Like, I was trying to be funny because I thought it was funny. You're my friend, but you funny when you talk. And I like hearing it. <laughs> so, so, he this, been, so, so this he, whole time, he thought you had the same mentality as him. Right. And that you hated uh, Ben Arthur as well. Right. Because I was an Invicta guy. Uh, and, and you know what? And I said, you know what? I will be an Invicta guy before I be a movement guy any day. Yeah. Any okay. day, you know what I mean? And he took offense to that. Well, I got some Invictus and they ain't all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so he thinks, so he, okay, so let's make this clear. He thinks that Invicta is a better, I mean, movement, movement is, is a, a better, better brand, brand than Invicta. And I, yes, and I brought up the Alpha M. And I said, do you still believe Alpha M? We watched Alpha M tell that lie about movement being better than Talk Rolex. about a sellout. Right. Movement being better than uh, movement being Rolex. better than Rolex. Uh, can't even he can't the, even say it. P. Ross with right, a straight face. <laughs> right. Uh, we saw Teddy Balthazar and Alpha M 
and he went for real. You know what I'm saying? He went for real. He was just saying whatever he could say to get him out of the stuff he was in. That's all, James. Well, I like Alpha M, and he got good tips. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I used to believe that yeah, too. I saw the movie uh, video. Yeah, his so, lo- his latest video was how to get a, a bigger, you know what, naturally or something. Yeah, you right. can, you can and really. He had, and and he, had had the re- big, he had the big pickle in front of his face. I'm like, who the hell? Is yeah, that? right, right. But but he Does respects it. him. But he respects him. Right, right. Sorry, that's the wife again. She keeps coming in. She she wants to talk watches. She she's, does? she's closeted. She's closeted. Mm. I wish. Mm, mm, mm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's a closeted watch uh, enthusiast. Oh, I yeah. wish. So the outcome was, so let's recap this. Mm-hmm. He still doesn't like Ben Arthur. No, he, he 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 will never like Ben Arthur. Okay. He thinks Invicta watches are inferior to, to movement. movement watches. Yes. Uh, he still thinks that Alpha M is was, a god. It's a god and was genuinely speaking yes. the truth about movement. Yes. And he thinks you're a traitor. Yeah. And you went to I, the dark side. Yeah, but I, I and then I'm like, I don't even mm-hmm. understand that because I was buying Seiko's and citizens. I was buying all kind of stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? And just I was a member of Watch Gang. I was getting all kind of crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Interesting. All and right. This, and this and and I don't even own a movement watch. That's what's so weird. Why would you think I'm a movement guy and I don't own a movement watch? That's interesting. That's interesting. No. But you know, you know what? The 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 this really reminds me of almost like anything else, right? Anything else in life, like whether it be religion or mm-hmm. uh, a movie star, or a celebrity, right. like people just defend whatever it is they believe in. Yeah, for sure. Even if you put the truth in their face and say, "Here are the facts." what is wrong with you they think something's wrong with you and he brought up the prince thing again he said if they told you prince didn't write 95.5 percent of his Uh, songs how would you feel i'm like that's fine but i know that that's not true right you see what i'm saying like that's fine whatever you know what i'm saying i like the music he was i don't care who wrote it but you know so what's his what's his problem? His problem is that he thinks that movement watches are great or because he does see the where we're coming from. It's not that movement watches are not good looking because they're good looking watches, right? Aesthetically, they, they're pleasing. He, they're just way uh, overpriced for what they are. He is a fan of movement. He's a fan of the brand MVMT. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to spend your money on, hey. Right, correct. Do your but, thing. But, but but it would be nice for him to recognize that he's paying way too much for something that's not worth that much. But the thing is, you know what? You know, uh, James is pretty well off. People with money don't see that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. you know, he, he's pretty well off. Okay. Well, if he's well off, maybe he should give another company an opportunity, you know? Uh if he's that well off, I would even. He recommend... is. He's gonna give Daniel Wellington a shot. No, I'm talking, man. I'm talking like a like a nomos, you know, like a nomos, um, for him to actually see the movement, the finishing, the just the case design, you know, everything about it, and compared to a movement. And if he's well off, he'll probably see the light and be like, well, wait a minute, I could see the difference between this and that, and it's not the same right. thing. You know what I mean? Um, but the same could be said about when, when we said that, um, something is maybe not worth as much as maybe like Rolex, right? A lot mm-hmm. of the money that you're paying is just a name in the marketing right. and you wanting to be part of that exclusive club. Um, mm-hmm. is a watch worth that money, right. especially in the secondary market? Mm-hmm. No, no right. absolutely not. But Rolex fanboys are going to be, and fangirls are going to oh, yeah. be fanboys and fangirls right. and Forever, you will, for life and you will insult them if you say otherwise because they have more money than anything right. else you know but uh great story great outcome uh we're yeah, definitely I think, gonna, it's, I think it's gonna be a part two because i'm i don't think i'm done with this yet i think you should go to his house take your video camera and make a movement video ben arthur told you that would be a hit man we gonna try it i'm gonna try it 
Man, if you do a great yeah. job, we'll send it to Ben Arthur. See if he could, he, see if he could give you a, a, a shout out if you do that. I'm sure I'm he will love to I'm watch that. I'm definitely going to try, but it's going to have to be <laughs> when quarantine over with, you know, because our, our uh, county's in the purple now, so it's, it's real bad in our county. So, Oh, man. It's definitely Sorry to hear that. Be, you know, after Sorry quarantine. To, sorry to hear that, buddy. Yeah. Um, so what what is the one thing that you're looking forward to the most once this whole thing is either really under control or God willing over with? Well, what is what's the one thing that you look forward to doing? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look forward to anything because I still think I'm gonna wear a mask. You know, I think I'm gonna still in the back of my mind just think that I can catch it if somebody breathe on me. Mm. Um I don't think life for me is gonna get I it'll get normal, like maybe I will go out more places, go out to eat, but like just the safety issue, you know, you know what I mean? Like just I'm, I'm gonna always probably just wear a mask. You know what I mean? Because okay. you know, it is it's really scary. I saw on the news that uh a husband and wife had it. He died yesterday and she died today. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's that's, that's really terrible. really scary. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we actually got uh we got our letters for essential workers where we f- could be first to get the injection. The vaccine. So, yeah. Okay. So um, are you? Yeah, I think I am. Whew. All right, P. Ross, you brave, you brave. Let me know if you I turn think, into a gremlin. I, I think I am, man. You know what I'm saying? Because. I mean, if I turn into a gremlin, I still be alive. But if I catch COVID, I'm checking out. You have a point. You know what I mean? Do you have a point? If I turn into Stripe from the gremlin, I still be wearing a watch. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be so easier sorry, for me to hitch a ride to California and come scare you. I tell <laughs> no, like, thanks. I, Stay I, over there. Stay I, over I, there. I'd be a gremlin. I put myself in a box. You know what I'm saying? You think it's a watch, and I just, ah, what's up, Miguel? <laughs> oh, you should surprise yeah. um, Alpha. <laughs> oh, man. Another movement watch. Yeah. <laughs> it's P. Ross, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's oh, bleep wow. that out. Let's bleep that out. Right, right, I'm right. I'm just kidding. Right. We're, that, we're that, trying to that, keep it PG. That, here. that was hot. That was hot. I like that. Sorry. We're, we're, we're trying to keep it PG. So let me go back to one of my collaborations. So one of the, one of the questions that got brought up is House is on fire. God forbid. You have to take one watch. What do you take? But um, one watch is just too, it's too much. I can't I can't just take one watch. Let's make it three watches. Let me put you on the spot, P. Ross. God forbid, house is on fire. You family's out. Everybody's safe. Cats out. Dogs out. Whatever. You have to get three watches. Three watches. What do you get and why? What what are they, what do they mean to you? On you know. Uh man, I think first I'll start with my vintage Omega Seamaster DeVille. Great choice. You know what I'm saying? Um, Great choice. Great choice. My wife bought that one. You know what I mean? Um very, very near and dear to my heart. You know what I'm saying? There she is right there. Oh Glad man. What kind of strap is that? Oh, is he oh this, this is a vintage straps coat strap. Is it suede or is it leather? It's suede. Oh, so man, that looks so nice. Yeah. Wow. Um. Then of course, I don't know if this if you follow me and you you know what's going on, you know what I mean. It'll be, uh, me and Tina. Sir Tina. Ooh, you know definitely. R- Dan, it looks hot on that rally strap. Holy yeah. crap! You've been holding out on me, Piras. Look yeah, at that, man. Yes, sir. And then the new acquisition that I got for Christmas, and my wife continues to ask me why I don't wear it more. Oh, the so, oh, the Bulova. So, I mean the uh, Hamilton. The Hamilton. Yeah. So I would definitely have to come back and get the Hamilton. How do you King. have all these things available? What the heck? What do you just keep them there? Look, man, look. Check all it right. out. My, my watches are right here. Holy smokes, You know what I mean? Man. They right there. And okay. I have them lined up for how I want to wear them. I have uh-huh. the Widnaller right here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for Flieger Friday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man. What? You know, so 
All right. Um, I don't have any watches in front of me. <laughs> in case you were going to ask me the same question, I hope you don't because I have no idea how to respond. Well, I, I don't think have any I, watches I think I think I am going to ask you, uh, and I and what I expect you to do is pause this video now and go get them and come back. I'm not going to pause this you video. Know what I'm uh, do, 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 uh, do. No, I don't even know where they are. I think they're come outside. Oh, man. The nah, room. nah, man. I, I have all my lights set up here. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. I can't come go on, get man. them. But I'll uh, tell you, I'll tell you what it is. So I just showed my Buloba, um, the one my dad gave me. The and, Yes, yes. Great watch. Great watch. I, I, I just showed it on the Engineer Wannabe channel. So go check out that video. Go support them. I do show it on there. I don't know. And you did put do away. a video on your channel for that. Too. I did. I did. I did. So that will be that'll be one of them for sure. I mean that I just wasn't expecting to get that off my dad. And I I, I that's one of the watches I'm I'm giving away right, to myself for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. It 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 carries so much sentiment, so much story. So that's one of them. Um Omega Speedmaster. Mm. That that Great Speedmaster choice. for me is the very first expensive watch and actually the most expensive watch I own and have owned. And I, that's what got me started into making a YouTube channel, that right. watch, because uh, I wanted to make a video about that. Well, not that watch, but the Speedmaster Reduce that I got before that. Mm -hmm. And that went sideways, but that's how I started my YouTube channel. Right. And then honestly, I'm just in the honeymoon phase with this, and it would just have to be this guy, the mm. SPB143. And honestly, it's just mm. because, not just because it's the newest watch, but as a collector, I feel like I evolved and I really curate this watch and what I want it, what it represents. And also, again, this is because of the success I've had uh, on YouTube and right. all my platforms like the podcast and Instagram and everything. It was kind of like a, a a reward for me, if you will, because I Absolutely. mean, I don't get rewarded. So this is kind of a reward. So those would be the three. Uh, most likely, I would probably be wearing this on the wrist. So I'll probably cheat and get another one right from the collection. Right. But I mean, those are the the, the core, the, the, the three that I would just Right. take with me and be like I, I will cry my head off for all my other watches because i, I could go on and on and oh this one my mom gave it to me my wife gave me right. this bull level precision is for father's day and i don't wear it but mm -hmm. it means a lot to me you know right but yeah. man as a, as a collector i think that's what i would that's what i would take right that's what's up man oh that was hard so let us know in the comment section if you're watching this on youtube what what are the three very watches hard. very hard because now i'm thinking like i could pick another three no that's it you know what i mean because you so, went in and that was your no, mindset you know right right these, these are the watches that i thought of first that was like right you know yeah you no know, probably these are probably well besides the the hamilton which i i wore a few times uh the seamaster deville and the certina i've worn a lot you know what i mean since i've had the certina i've worn that a lot yeah like it's probably the only watch that i've had in rotation that i've wore for probably a month straight without taking it out maybe changing the straps but i know. hear you i hear you i don't you look before this i would have said you're crazy how do you do it you're a watch guy that doesn't happen right. it does happen believe me when when you find that one watch that just like speaks to you believe me yeah it just you just can't take it off the wrist, you know, and, and, and I, I actually set this on the engineer wannabe channel because he was asking, you know, what's next? Well, what are you well, what are you looking forward to? And I, I honestly told him for the first time in my watch collecting life in six years. I am not I don't want anything. It's weird. But I said, how however, here's the thing. I've been blessed now that that I that I've been reviewing watches and, and channels getting bigger. By the way, we just hit two thousand subscribers today on Martin Luther King Day. Shout out to how Martin special Luther is that? How Martin special Luther is that? Day. You, know. you want to do a little more shout out before I go on with my story? Talk yeah. about what Martin Luther King means to to you as, a, as an African American. Well, it, it's kind of weird. Um, like going to school back then. Okay. Like all you heard about was Martin Luther King. Um, and you mostly heard of the, I have a dream speech, which is what they play. Correct. A lot. Right. Yeah. You know, which was a great speech, but he did one before the, I have a dream speech for, uh, I believe it was for union workers. You know what I'm saying? It was getting robbed of their money or whatever. Something was happening oh, man. Okay. down South. And he did a speech with that. And to me, that was his greatest speech. If I could find it, 
I'll link it somewhere on Instagram, somewhere. Absolutely. Or whatever. Or, you know, uh, he drops this podcast on his channel. He can link it there. Yeah. It, it was great, man. It was great. Uh, very, very inspirational, you know, for people that work every day and have to pay bills every day. You know what I mean? Um, and very interesting. And very interestingly, Martin Luther King owned a 18 karat gold Rolex. I, I was going to say that. That was gifted to him by Rolex. I don't know what for. I could just only imagine just due to his uh, him being a great humanitarian. Yeah, that's cool. And a great person. Uh, but he also wore Timex, too, on his downtime. That's awesome. So, you know, um, great man, great man. That's what's great up, man. man. That's you what's know. up. National treasure for sure. I mean, yeah, awesome, awesome guy and respect. And, you know, a lot of people forget, right? So it's like, oh, we have the day off today. All the other kids are right. off and postal workers and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But it's like, well, why? right really why you know right. and it's like mm-hmm. nowadays with the political climate and everything we're not going to get into that right. but so much stuff going on man right. so much hate against people and all the people in the united states are just like hating against each other and whatnot yeah. and not only that but other parts of the world we used to the u.s used to be here right i remember when i was in mexico growing up we wanted to emulate the United States, everything they did, everything right. they ate, everything, the sports they played, like the United States was it. But now, man, it's almost like the U.S. is a joke and we oh, have yeah. issues and serious issues. It's, but I, it's almost embarrassing saying you're an American now. I mean, right. I hope things get better and people stop acting crazy. Right. And we could all go back to normal. I don't know what normal means. But mm-hmm. man, just love each other, respect each other. I mean, sure. come on. And I think if we can, if, if people can go back and listen to some of Martin Luther King, you know what I mean? That understand what he stood for, equality amongst all men. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, I think we could get there again. Yeah. Um, yeah, know, for but... sure. People people just make, well, here, especially in the U.S., make it all about politics and everything. Right. But it's like, man, there's a bigger monster out there, mm-hmm. the virus. It's literally yeah. killing all of us, and you guys are so interested in everything else. And it's just like take a take a step back and 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 think, how can you help your fellow American? How can you help your fellow right. just human being? And obviously, we're just talking about America because this is where we live, and mm-hmm. we're living through all this. But uh, on my Spanish channel, I had a a, a guy from Spain. Mm-hmm. great you know a great video i love your review but one thing that i that i don't envy is where you live i would never ever want to step foot in the united states i love my country god bless you and i was just like oh man that's crazy like what well, you know i've what? never gotten messages like that before like what's going on you you know what for the most part the united states of america is great i agree for the, for i agree part, you know what i'm saying it, i agree it's not everyone I agree. You know what I mean, but it seems like that—that's what that they small showcase margin on TV. Of people, that's what you hear and see, right? You know what and I mean. On the so, internet, everywhere, we're not like that. People, right. like in real no. life, like I could go out in my town and everything, and it's fine. Like I'm not only right. like, yeah. fearing for my life. It's right. just the crazies, but unfortunately, that's what they highlight. They highlight yeah. all the negatives, just like anywhere else any other media right whether it's like Mm -hmm. watch media they always like to focus on the negatives and on the oh this watch company like tack hoyer i know they had some issues with their movements and that's kind of what they talked about right like they had this issue Mm -hmm. with this movement and all but does that mean they're a bad company or something no it's just a little qc issue it's fine Mm -hmm. you know what i mean or tutor or tutor too i know they had some issues with their with their watches does that mean that it's a bad watch no right they fixed it Mm mm-hmm you know absolutely so oh, god willing uh everything will be fixed uh back to normal somehow but if you're listening watching outside of the u.s we're fine absolutely <laughs> where the, the the u.s is not burning down uh, let me go check <laughs> but <Right. laughs> but no we're, and, we're we're definitely fine man <sighs> and let me say i wouldn't live no place other than the u.s in the world yeah we live besides, we besides amsterdam well, that's for other reasons, P. Ross. Yeah, <laughs> P. Ross is a little freaky. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Maybe he is. A lot, a lot. <laughs> As you can tell. My wife would kill me. 
as you can tell, we always have guests and we always have questions prepared and all that. Like seriously, today we're like, we should probably just talk about, I forgot what we talked about something. And then we're like, just, 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 just kind of like, let's talk like when you and I get on the phone and this is right, really right. what we talk about. We just talk about yeah. nonsense and different things, but sometimes we do get a little serious. Um, we talk watches, of course. So you just see the new yeah. Ming, right? That new Ming's coming out with this new yeah. watch, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, people were were were, were kind of like angry at Ming right now. Uh, P. Ross, if you didn't know, right. because apparently they sell out super quick, and you know it's almost like they. I think they take your money um, right ahead but of time, right? Don't 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 the prices on the Ming watches usually go higher? Yep. You know yeah, and, I mean? and that's. That's the thing. Actually, I was on their Instagram account today because I do follow them on Instagram and they put out this thing on their stories, right? On the stories of things that disappear. And they were saying, you know, a few things, clarifying a few things. And they basically they're so popular that they could only sell you one watch per household, per address. And I'm looking at the price of these things. They're like four, three thousand, four thousand. And I'm like, dang, people order more than one, like obviously to resell, right. them, you know, because they know, mm -hmm. the, the, and, you know, but that's one of the rules and they just have all ki kinds of crazy things. Oh, sorry mm. for it, not. It, this is what they're going to do. We're going to send an email out before the watches are released and then we're going to have a countdown of when they're released to give you an opportunity to buy them because they sell out like this and i'm like dang that's crazy that people just wow. like spend three grand just like four grand like it's nothing mm. and it's like that must be nice it must be now, really do they nice. have an in-house movement that's a great question and i don't think they do i'm sorry for everybody watching and listening i know they partnered up right. one of their watches it was like a special watch they did they partnered up with somebody and they like finished it super crazy but i don't mm -hmm. believe they do but again i i don't know much we can, about we can find watches. out we can find out i'm sure we could find out but uh me watches are beautiful like the the design right. aesthetic that they have is so simplistic yet futuristic mm -hmm. and every time you see a mean watch doesn't matter what model it's like or different strap or different colors like right. that's a Ming watch like you know that's a Ming watch and I, I personally like them a lot but i don't have that kind of money um christopher ward that's another brand that i absolutely yeah. love yeah i love christopher ward. hopefully I could, I could partner up with them um i, I have been in contact with them i, I do that they have a few more requirements than any other micro brand watch company and i just haven't followed up with them or met their mm -hmm. protocol so I, I i definitely should get one in the in the in the channel because i i definitely want to get hands on their beautiful watches right. in-house movements i mean for a micro brand watch a a and then i think we should do an episode p ross where it's like we should talk about what makes a company a micro brand watch and right. what makes a company an independent because right i think i posed that question to uh to sanjay engineer wannabe and i don't i don't think we really got deep into that but it would be nice to at least set a parameter or say, okay, well, this company is this, this company is this, and kind of see what makes that company an independent, right? right. Like FP Jorn, I know FP Jorn for sure, it's an independent, you know. Uh, and, and Ming, I think Ming is considered an independent. I don't think they're right. a micro brand. Um, but Monta, Note is, you know, all these other guys, yeah. Albany Watch Company, of course, they're micro brands. But to what level do you need to get? Is it a, is it a price level is it a popularity level right. is it a price point like at what point do you become an independent i right i have no idea let's get somebody yeah, that'd from, be interesting let's get somebody from hodinky here uh right. let me i have jack forrester on speed dial let me call him and just can't <laughs> uh one day we'll have somebody from hodinky maybe no doubt. Do, if, if you guys want to see that let us know on the comment section we could definitely reach out to them see if they want to collaborate why not right mm -hmm. speaking sure. of collaborations p ross who do we have this upcoming weekend uh, we have uh, the mad watch collector himself in the building this weekend. It's going to be hot. It's going to be off the chain. Y'all better get into it. I can't wait. You know he, he recently had TGV on his channel. Big deal, man. Congratulations TGV. to you, my friend. Con Russell. Absolutely. Congratulations. That's that's mm. that's huge, man. Um, yeah. So, yeah, excited to have him on board. Uh, definitely he's going to come on. And we're going to have some other special guests coming on but uh but yeah man let's let's talk other things I, I feel like we've been talking other things the whole entire episode but but tell me oh, something man. interesting man what's up what's up T tell me something p ross uh what you want to hear man oh i've been getting deep into aromatherapy okay it is great i have i i've heard aroma. things 
my aromatherapy diffuser right here and I'm using a uh, spearmint and eucalyptus essential oils. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, it relieves the stress level along do, with that. Huh? Do you put cannabis in it or? No, no, not yet. 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 It, it may be coming. You know what I'm saying? But I have to get drug tested for work. So not right now. Okay. Got okay. it. All right. Okay. But I've been using, uh, I don't know if y'all have a bath and body works. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been Will using you? a lot of their stress relievers. You know what I'm saying? Like the uh, they have uh, experiment, eucalyptus, uh, shire gel, uh, lotion, skin cream, and uh, what else? What's the other one? What's the other one? Uh, and spray. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And I like the candle, the eucalyptus tea candle. You know what I'm saying? I have everything fresh smelling. You know what I mean? Just because 20, 2020 was such a bad time. You know what I'm saying? It were it was some good things that happened, but it was such a bad time for a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was very stressful. And I just kind of feel like I needed to make some changes in my daily routine. That's great. You know what I mean? And you know, just start using different products. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I have gray skin. You know what I mean? You know, so black don't crack, baby. Black don't <laughs> crack. So they and, say I mean. and black don't crack and beige don't age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good one, P. Ross. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Black don't crack and beige don't age. <laughs> there it is. Oh, man. Well, yeah, other yeah. things for me, I mean, uh, Cobra Kai, man. Cobra Kai. I, I finished... have to watch the third season. Ooh, I have to watch it. It was good. It was good. So Cobra Kai is so fun. Um, so I neglected Cobra Kai for so long, right? I, I, ah. I know it came out a long time ago, and a friend of mine, a buddy of mine, Steve, actually, Steve, was telling me about it. Oh, yeah, have you watched it? Have you watched it? I was like, nah, nah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I never did. Finally, 2020 hit. We're in lockdown. I have nothing to do. And it pops up on Netflix. I'm like, oh, yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. Steve told me that was going to be good. Let me yeah. let me check it out. So I did. And it's so funny. So check it out. So I'm watching it, right? I remember the Karate Kid. And my wife's in the, in, in the, the room right there. I'm watching TV. And I'm like, hey, you want to watch this? I hear it's really good. She's like, nah, it's cool. I got a book to read. Uh, I'll just, you can turn it on if you want. No, okay, cool. Turn it on, you know, episode one. And I, I, I guess I could see her from the corner of my eye. This is her, you know, reading, she's reading a book, right? Reading a book. And she's uh huh. going back, reading her book. And then she'll be like this. Mm-hmm. Well, episode three, right? Because I was binge. She had the book down next to me like this watching TV. <laughs> and I was like, right. hey, I thought you didn't want to watch this. Like, this is actually pretty good. We, yeah. we binged season one, season two, and then we could not wait for season three. And it came out, and yeah. we liked it. So I'm not no right, spoilers. Right. We liked it. It was, you, it was good. You want to hear something funny? Say it. You no, know, one up? of the main characters' name is Miguel, right? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. last episode, <laughs> I saw you like ah, and I'm like, oh no. Wait, what? Remember the last episode? Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it for people. Yes, I know what last you're talking about. Last episode of season two. I'm I, like, no, I Miguel, no. Miguel. You know what I'm saying? Why? Like, oh, yeah, okay. We'll leave it at that. No spoilers. That's it. That's it. No. Did he die? Did he not die? Did he get shot? Did he run for president? I don't know what we're talking right. about. Right, right. For sure. But, but it, it, it was, it's good. I got to get into season three. It's cool. It, it, it's good, man. One show that I cannot wait or we cannot wait for it to come out. Uh, Stranger Things. Woo. Oh, my God. Stranger Things. Season, what's oh. that? Be season four? I don't know. Five, four. I don't, season I don't know. three or four? I think yeah, four. I, love str- I think I, four yeah, or five. I love Stranger Things, man. Like, that's. It's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's an sure. awesome show. I just, it just so much, so much good mm-hmm. stuff there. Um, But yeah, man, that's kind of. Oh, and, and oh, okay. So ghost, um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, God, I forgot the name of the uh, of the show. But uh, ghost two, uh, what's it called? I, f- I forget. But uh, it's a great show. It's a great mm-hmm. show. Um, I've told you about it. It's Fifty Cent produces that that show. Oh yeah, the uh, power, power spin off. Power. The power. The power. Spin-off. You gotta watch Power. So watch, I power. watch power. Oh my God, P. Ross, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Do you like drugs? Do you like women? What are you doing? What are you doing, P. Ross? I love women. You got to watch it. 
You gotta drugs. watch it, man. Well, you know what I mean. Is I mean, not necessarily, but it's a, it's a drug dealer with like a spinoff, and he's trying to go corporate, but he can. And it's, you have it's to a... understand. I've seen that scenario. No, 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 no. This is different. In the movies. This is different, P. Ross. Really, so you connect with the character. It, look, it's so popular. They released a spinoff. Right. Season one just finished. Okay. Right. Was it good? They renewed it for season two. You tell me. Okay. It was, okay. It was okay. good. Mary J. Blige is in that show season and on the spinoff she's good uh it, it's good i'll leave it at that it's good okay, you gotta okay. watch it I, everybody I listen watch i get power I, I promise you i promise you just watch two episodes of power and you you call me and you're gonna be hooked okay all right I'll all right so anyway but with that said p ross anything else you want to talk about i mean you want to thank everybody uh, for yeah the massive you. support i mean gee. thank everybody for the support you know what i mean we, we ain't going to do nothing but come up all year in uh, 2021, and we're going to be getting lit AF all year. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. And, and on a positive note, I would like to make a quote, uh, and I think I heard this on a Houdinki radio show. Who oh, was that guy? Oh, oh, my God. I forgot. You know what? We should try to get that guy on the show. So, we, oh, yeah. man, I, I don't remember. Well, yeah. he, 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 he did a Nelson Mandela quote that was, like, so profound, and I would like to share it with you guys today. Preach, P. Ross. Preach. Okay, please. okay. Now, I, I'm, I'm trying to get it verbatim in my mind. Oh, that's going to be tough. Because he said it's so cool. A quote from Nelson Mandela, I don't fail. I either win or learn. Uh, so for all y'all out there, like it. we don't fail. We either win or learn. That's right. Bang. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Hey, especially for everybody out there. I know I was talking to Eve again, Steve Dan. Mm -hmm. Um she's like, you should make a video of you know how to how to get to a thousand subscribers and this and that and i just don't feel qualified like honestly i feel blessed that i'm even at two thousand subscribers in the right. niche that we do how did i do it honestly a lot of hard work dedication and not giving up and yeah, p ross sure. you are next because i know how hard you work i know your dedication i know your love for this so the only thing i gotta say is don't give up if you're into watches and you want to make it huge on on youtube there's very little people out there that do make it big but most of us stay Just little average guy. exactly average guys we we grow at a steady pace but very slowly so if you're in mm -hmm. this for the money get out now if you're in this for the passion ride along yeah yeah, yeah. and you're in this for friendships and mm -hmm. of course of course right you know so absolutely but anyway p yes, sir it's been fun and and you know i got a, i got a quote for uh the ball watch collector too oh you know okay what I mean? so as the river flows, so goes the salmon. Okay. You know, but that salmon swim upstream. So anyway, that's it. That's it. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, he, he he told you bring proverbs. Every every episode oh, yeah. bring a proverb, you know. Oh, you're, yeah. you're dropping you dropping just knowledge on these people. <laughs> Bam. Sprinkle, sprinkle, so, so sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle a little sugar right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Absolutely. Alton. Yeah. That Alton. That was good. That was Half good. past blow. That was an awesome yeah. episode, man. Yes, it man, was. it's like we, we shot out everybody we know. Actually, no, we know so many people. We could we could do right. we, we could do a whole episode just shouting down people and looking back mm -hmm. at all the people we've had on and all the people that right. we're supposed to collaborate with. But it's yeah. it, it, it's just you know who you are. Right. We love all of you. Absolutely. So, Anyway, P. Ross, thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank you. thank you. Thank bro. you. Thank you. So no, thank let's you. Keep... Thank you. Oh, thank <laughs> Let, you. Let's keep it going. Positivity. Let's do all that stuff. So P. Ross, let's call it a night. Uh, yeah, let's thank call you it so much. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, where can they find you? Uh, Ross wristwatch love everywhere. We are a hundred and seventy subscribers away from the big one thousand. You know what I'm saying? Come show your boy some love. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Almost a thousand you know, on YouTube. Almost. Almost. You're almost there. You're almost yeah. there. But hey, your Instagram. Almost at 2,000, oh, right? Yeah, you're... almost at 2,000. Yeah, there I'm in go. between. There yeah. you go. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah. SoCal Watch Release, of course, YouTube, Instagram, and this podcast. Uh, we couldn't do yeah. this without you. 
every single one of you watching, every single one of you listening to this podcast. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. We may not be experts, but we love this hobby. Absolutely. Love you. So thank you so much. And, and one more thing. Go Say to it. check out our Facebook page. SoCal our Watch Facebook page. Yes. Facebook yes. page. All right. Absolutely. Yo, because we're dropping content over there that you may not see on Instagram or yep. on our YouTube channel or on the podcast. Very true. You know what Very I mean? True. So, you know, go Scavenger check it out. Scavenger hunt. Go check yeah. it out. Absolutely. All right. Well, with that said, everybody, thank you, P. Ross. Thank you, everybody. Stay humble, my friends.